really a fascinating story tonight about a potential new modern way to utilize one of our nation's greatest engineering feats. It's a new way of thinking about the Hoover Dam, but the plan isn't encased in concrete just yet. 8 News Now reporter Kristen Drummond explains. Hoover Dam, a modern engineering marvel of the 20th century with the amount of concrete and steel used to build this structure, which continues to attract hundreds of thousands of visitors here a year. The dam generates a significant amount of energy to power the southwest and may eventually serve another purpose. It hasn't been done before for Hoover Dam. The Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, an operator of the dam, wants to build a $3 billion pump station and pipeline powered by solar and wind energy. We're trying to solve to, to look long term for our, how we integrate higher levels of renewables. And allow Hoover Dam to reach more of its potential. It runs at a very low capacity factor of about 20%, which means there's a lot more water you can run through it to produce more energy. The possible plan calls for using excess energy to power the pump station, which would be located down the Colorado River from the dam. The pump will send water up the pipes back into Lake Mead. When renewable energy isn't available, that water will flow through the generators again to create power for the grid. That provides peaking power when it's needed, and it generates a profit for the operator of the reservoir because they're selling the electricity at a higher rate than they spent to pump the water uphill. So it does work. But concerns remain over the operational plan, pumping at night or the day. We have to further explore that. And not negatively impacting the environment or others downstream. Water operations are primary. Electric operations follow that in priority. Details about the proposal still need to be ironed out, including where the pumping station may be located down the Colorado River. Reporting from the Hoover Dam, Kristen Drummond, 8 News Now.